Hello, it's Joe Glines. In this video we're going to demonstrate um, inserting, deleting, and adjusting row height uh, for Excel using AutoHotKey. So, um, I have a little hotkey up here, so let me add in just some row numbers to make it easy to kind of see what we're doing. And uh, I am going the first example here. Let's see, I got the, um, this is my function call to row height. So actually here, it's this is, gets the handle to the application right and I pass it to this variable here this is down here in my uh, script so it'll return back a, a handle back to the Excel active Excel window and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say okay I insert that here this Excel I got XL I should say um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the height um, I have a function call which says adjust the height for rows 1 to 4 and minus 1 will set um, the height to auto so it'll automatically look at, let's actually, so 1 to 4, let's grab these, let's make them bigger, right? It's going to look at what's in here and adjust it to it. And um, and then rows 10 through 13, it's going to set to 50, and 21 to 15. Um, to Oh, yeah, 21 to 15. So now I'm going to save this, reload it, and now when I run it, bam! So it, it looked at these, adjusted the height, and then 10 through 13, it um, adjusted to 50, and then row 21, which of course didn't have anything in there, but it set it to 15. Um, and you can dig through the uh, the function call here. Basically, what I do is is I um, parse the uh, the values off of pipe. So each time it goes through and it creates an array, and it says, okay, let's let's create an array off of this, looking at this, and then after that, let's split it. And if there's um, an equal there. Uh, on the second one, we're going to set it to minus one, and then if not, we're going to set it to. Uh, this is a ternary command. So this question mark says, "Hey, if this is here, set it to use this command." Let me go ahead and bring this over now that we've we've demonstrated it, um, and set it to auto fit. And if not, we are going to set it to the row height, which is I get I parse also from that. So. That is how that first one works. Let me get back over here. So that's for adjusting the height of things. Uh, let's go ahead and get them all back to kind of look at normal. And come back over here. And I'm going to comment out that first one. Now the next one we're going to insert. And you know I don't want to make that many. Let's put it one to two. Um, and so this one I would just say you call multiple times, right? Because if, as things shift around, it's just easier for me. I, I call it multiple multiple times if the cells I rows I want to insert are not continuous. Um, and I can also configure the height I set it to. So let me save it, reload it. Now I'm going to set the height to 16, and I'm going to insert one, um, two rows here at the top. And bam. Let's say, let's go ahead and delete those so I can demonstrate it again. And let's say I wanted it to be two to four and to twenty-six. So there we go. It inserts them where we want and adjust the height for it. Um, that one, that one's very very straightforward, right? I just basically go down and say, hey, take the the range and insert it. This is a constant value, um, which is the insert. Um, uh, man, I, sh I should have looked at that, but I think it's uh, shift down is what that's basically saying. And on, um, and then say go back and configure the height of what you just inserted. So, oh yeah, I can't undo because I did it with uh, Excel. I'm sorry, auto hotkey. So, all right, now we've gotten the insert done. Now this row delete. This is one where um, it's nice. You can have them out of order, but you can't go across. So I, if I had done, redone, and said like 4 to 5, and then here I said 4 again, it would come up with an error. Um, I don't have any error built into this, by the way, error, error detecting, so it would give me an Excel error, um, but that's easy. We, I could add that, but for now, let's uh, save this. So so it's going to say, I'm going to delete rows 4 to 5, 9, 10, and 67, which I don't have anything there right now, but that's okay. We'll, let me save it, reload, launch. So as you can see, one to three, and then four to five are gone, and then um, seven, eight, and then nine is gone, 
and then 10 is gone, right? Because I called it, this is 67, which I didn't have a value there, but um, you can just understand. I didn't have to put them in order, but I can do continuous ranges, or I can call individual ones. Um, and it does it all at once. It, it dumps them into an array, parses it based off of, first off of the pipe, and then I'll, after you do that, it, then it parses the equal sign. Um, but it, it's a very handy way to be able to uh, delete what rows you want all in one call. That's it. Um, hope you like it. Thanks.